the last few months, and I said, uh, I said, now, I don't mean this out of disrespect. I said, but do you people, do y'all know any happy songs? I mean, this is the most depressing CD I've ever heard in my life. He said, no, no, man, that's creepy, man, brother, amen. And I said, man, man, get y'all lighten up a little bit, amen. I mean, put a little bit of a smile on your face, amen. Uh, church ain't supposed to be bored, amen. Uh, hey, 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 you got to have a good time in church. Uh, y'all, everybody got to enjoy the Lord. Uh, y'all enjoy the and, uh, yes. and, and, and I tell you, the Lord is yeah. gracious. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Amen. Hebrews chapter number 13, verse 5. Paul is talking to the Hebrew church. Hebrews 13, 5. Y'all there? Somebody say amen when you get there. Amen. 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 I've got, got one. All right. Amen. All right. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as you have. For he said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. I'd like to preach this a little while on biblical content. Biblical content. All right, so tell me about the signs when your car is breaking. Amen. What, is, what, is, what are some of the signs? That your car is not working. Uh, it makes noises. Makes noise, all right. Engine light comes on. There's a ping. or island going wrong. Amen. You can tell something's wrong with your car, right? Amen. Signs of a stroke. You can tell. There are signs. There, there's sudden weakness of the face or arm, sudden numbness, sudden confusion. Uh, I mean, there, there are signs that you can tell. Chest discomfort. I mean, you can tell when, when you're having... Uh, a seizure or a stroke, amen. All times, you can tell people have that. Uh, there's memory loss, uh, difficulty performing, uh, you know, familiar tasks, a problem with the language, uh, disoriented in times and places, problems with ab abstract thinking, misplacing things, all kinds of stuff. You can tell when somebody is starting to get all Alzheimer's. Now, regular. You know, memory loss is when you walk into a room, you go, now, why am I here? You know, sometimes I walk in and go, I'm not here for a reason. I just right. can't figure out what the reason is. I'm not here for a reason. All right, you know. When you, when you walk into a room, you go, now, well, what house am I in? All right, now, now you got problems, all right? Yeah. Hey, 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 amen. <laughs> As there are signs and things that break, there are signs in your life when you're not content mm. As as a Christian. You just signs. Amen. And there's all kinds of signs that you can tell things are just not going right. Yeah. You stop reading your Bible. Amen. You just quit. Yep. Yeah. Guess what? There's something wrong. Amen. Amen. Well, when you don't want to pick up the book and you don't want to read it on your own, at least you read a chapter five minutes. I mean, you can't wait five minutes and just, just read a chapter. I mean, I tell people now, at least read one verse. I mean, you know, I used to be, I'd say, read one chapter, but now I'm down to one verse, amen? <laughs> if you can't do anything, at least read just one little verse out of the Bible. Every day, just pick up your Bible and read one verse. If you can't read a whole chapter, amen. if it takes you too long, maybe five minutes of waste, you know, wasting your time, I mean, at least take 30 seconds and read one little old verse. Wow. You can do that, can't you? Amen? You say, why, why aren't you reading your Bible? Well, not content with your Amen. with your Christianity, your spirituality. You stop praying. Amen. You just quit praying. You're no longer praying. You know, the Bible mm -hmm. says that we're supposed to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I get up in the middle of the night, I'm praying. I get go to work, I'm praying. I'm coming home, I'm praying. Amen. Especially with Susie driving. Amen. Amen. I mean, you gotta pray. Amen. <laughs> you gotta really pray. All right, please keep her on the road. Amen. <laughs> Keep my eyes open, amen, because if I get if I look up, I'm like, ah! And so uh, I have to, you know, seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pray. You got to, if you're not praying, why? Why? It could be you're not content with your Christianity. Amen. You're not going to church? You're not content with your Christianity. You're not giving? You're not content with your Christianity. We haven't taken up an offer. All this year, we're not going to until next year. Yeah. We'll start passing the plate then, amen. Okay. But right now, we, we ain't done it. We're just teaching, trying to get the groundwork, amen. get the foundation laid, amen. 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 God give. Witness. 
tell anybody, you know. Mm. Hey, do you know where you're going when you die? Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I mean, people have all kinds. You either have religion, and you're real religious. Most people are. A lot of people are religious. Then there's also the God of your mind. God of your mind is up here. Mm -hmm. You know what the God of your mind says? Mm -hmm. Well, whatever I do is right. It's okay mm -hmm. for me to do it. Because mm -hmm. my God up in my mind says it's okay. Mm -hmm. And there's the God of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen? Yeah. 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 You got to get born again to want to do that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You gotta get saved. There's gotta be a time and a place that you got on your knees and said, Jesus Christ, you know, I, you know, I know you died on the cross. Would you please forgive my sins and enter my heart, take over my life, that you may come in, I might, Amen, go to go to heaven, and I might get that peace and that joy and that mercy and that forgiveness, and Lord, that you can change my life completely. Would you please do it for me? You can't work your way to heaven. When's the last time you told somebody that? Now, if you ain't ever told anybody, then, then, you know, I mean, that's a basic job, just living for Christ. Now, the Old Testament, I mean, back when the Bible, when Christ was around, there was no hand out tracts. People just looked at your life and they said, Man, I want what they got. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want what they got. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Signs of your youth, you're not content at home. Mm -hmm. uh, young people want to leave the house as soon as possible. <laughs> Muddy. Preacher's kids are hard. You know, they they gotta deal with dad. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They gotta listen to me. And, uh, so I, I understand that. It's hard being in dad's ministry. And uh, young ladies want you know, uh, leave and the first guy pays attention to her, they're ready to, you know, uh, leave because they're not happy at home. Yeah. They're just not happy. Yeah. And they're ready, you know, uh, I understand. Young men do the same thing. The word content means to satisfy in the mind and make quiet so as to stop complaining or opposition. To appease, to make easy in any situation. Content, literally held. Uh, contained within limits. Hence, quiet, not disturbed. Having a mind of peace. Easy. Satisfied. And what is content? Having peace. Having peace. Not disturbed. Satisfied. Not Amen. complaining. Amen. You are content with what you have. Amen. You are content with your spiritual walk with the Lord. Amen. I'm happy. Amen. I'm happy. Amen. I enjoy Amen. walking with the Lord. He not walk with the Lord. He walk out there every day. And they, Amen. We discussed this last week. He not decided. Hey, you know, God decided. But why don't you just come to my house? He not said that'd be a good idea. We sing them songs about glad reunion. We sing them songs about getting to heaven. Amen. We look forward to heaven. Yeah. I mean, I look forward to the rapture. Amen. Jesus Christ Amen. standing on the clouds. Amen. And with a shout, he's going to say, let's go, and we're going to be gone. Amen. Amen. He doesn't care which families he breaks up. He doesn't care who gets left behind. Amen. When he comes for his church, he's coming for his people. Whether you're ready, whether you're not ready, he's a coming. Amen. 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 He's going to come, and he's going to say, it's time to go. Some people are going to say, well, I won't go right now. Um, I got a whole lot to live. Mm -hmm. I want to go right there. Um, well, then you're not content with your spirituality. Um, you ought to be content just saying, you know what, if, if, if the Lord will and He comes in them clouds, I'm, you know, I won't be ready. Mm -hmm. I won't be ready to go. If you're not, Amen. then you're not content with your spirituality, your own spirituality. Mm -hmm. You have to look at your own heart. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You got you to gotta learn to be satisfied mm -hmm. with what God has given you. Amen. And each one of us is individual from our appearance. God made you. Amen. Some of you are good looking like, like me. You know, <laughs> amen. Some of you are not. Amen. So I, I, I can't help that. You know, be, but I'd be content with, you, with your looks. Amen. It was a joke now. Come on now. Somebody I'm laughing right there. All right. All right. Now. Come on now. I'm passing the most beautiful people. Church, I'll tell you. Does that make you feel better, amen? <laughs> Just be the people, amen. Amen. Uh, and, and, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's different. you got to be content with whoever you're married to. you got to be, I mean, you're married if you stuck with them, amen? amen. You know, till death do us part, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Keep moving. Content. Content. 
You gotta be allowed to be content. <laughs> when a man is no longer content, he's ready to move on. Um, when you know, wife's not content, she's ready to move on. Um, you better learn to be content. Amen. He's got good points. They got good points. Your mate's got good points. Bad points. Trust me, we all do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I mean, that's just it. And, and if you're not careful, there are signs that you can tell when your relationship is not working out. Uh -oh. Amen. I mean, if you two don't want to spend time together, could be there's a problem. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to spend time together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Husbands are mm -hmm. supposed to provide three things. Financial support. That's money. Mm -hmm. Pay the bills. Emotional support. Women are not wanting you to solve their problems. They want you to listen to their problems. Yeah. Just let, you know what a man wants to do? He wants to solve. I'm very solid. Amen? Give me a problem. Any problem. Amen? I can solve it. Amen? <laughs> girl, girl, if I ain't up, I can, I can yeah, solve it. Amen? Problem, solve it. Uh, we can, men are just that way. We're just ready to solve. A lot of times you just got to learn to listen. Amen. That's one of the hardest things to do is just listen. Now you got to bite your tongue. Amen. Amen. You got to provide spiritual support. Amen. Amen. You got to be the one that encourages and says, you know, why don't we just pray for a little bit? Yes. I mean, if your husband comes home after work and, and you know, so ain't out there messing around, takes you out to eat once in a while, amen, spends time with you. Yeah, thank God. Amen. 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 I got somebody, amen, amen. who cares about you. It is hard to find somebody yeah, who just cares about you. Yeah. Not just to the good time. 